welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice and this is Ask Candice. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Path McGrath Mini Lipstick Guilty Pleasures Lip Trio. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments here on my channel and I will do my best to reply back. This retails for $25. I did purchase mine on Sephora.com. I do want to read a little bit about this set on their website. It does say a seductive set of iconic mini matte trans lipsticks that comes in legendary huge and extravagantly cased in a gold bar and pink packaging. This lipstick is creamy and luxuriously pigmented. The trio features executive realness, a velvety potent plum, Elson 2, the cult classic rouge and soft core a sublime satin pink let's go ahead and take a closer look on what the packaging looks like it does come in this plastic sequence packaging it looks so pretty and then when you turn it over on the back it tells you a little description about what's inside you have the ingredients and the barcode let's go ahead and open this up Here's what the lipstick trio looks like. There's some sequins inside, which I don't want to get all over. So I'm just gonna leave it one side. The packaging does feel a little bit different than their previous mini lip trios. I have a ton of them and I love the packaging. The quality of the packaging does feel a little bit flimsier than their original mini lipstick trios, but hopefully the formula hasn't changed. Here's a closer look on what the lipstick trio looks like. I love the simple packaging that she chose. Normally it's this packaging. This is normally colored. Here's an example of one. And then here's what her colored lipstick trios look like. On the bottom, you do have the shade names. And at the top, there really isn't anything. Here we have a closer look on what the packaging looks like for the shade in Executive Realness. I really do love the simplicity of the packaging. It's really pretty. I love the little details. So let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh. This shade is so beautiful. On the side, it does say Path McGrath Labs. Executive Realness is described as a plum shade. Look how pigmented that was with one swipe. Wow. This is why I love Path McGrath's lipsticks. They are so pigmented with one swipe. I love this shade in Executive Realness. The formula does feel exactly the same as her previous mini matte lipstick trios. It's so pigmented, very soft on the lips. I love it. Next shade is called Elson 2. I love this packaging. It is very reflective. I'm sorry if I am blinding you guys. I really do like the packaging. And then on the other side, it does say Path McGrath Labs. This shade is called Elson 2. Elson 2 is described as a fiery orange red. Again, very pigmented. Surprisingly, I really do love this shade in Elson too. It complements my skin tone. I normally would never reach for a reddish orangey shade, but I absolutely love this shade. The last shade in this collection is called Soft Core. Soft Core is described as a cool pink. Another beautiful shade. The shade in Soft Core is a little bit too pinky for my liking, but I can mix this in. I have all three shades swatched on the back of my hand. My final thoughts on the Path McGrath Guilty Pleasures Mini Lipstick Trio is that I really do like all three of these shades, even though the last shade in Soft Core was a little bit too light for my skin tone. I definitely think this set is a great value. For $25, you get three different shades. If you purchase one of her lipsticks, they retail for $38. All three of these shades are not limited edition. They are part of her permanent line. The only tiny thing I did not like about these lipsticks was the packaging. It does feel a little bit cheap versus their previous packaging. This feels a little bit more durable. It's not going to break or anything, but the quality, I can definitely feel it's different. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.